Hey everybody, welcome to Speech Bubble. I'm Butch Hartman. I got Jace, and over here I got my good friend Ray De Laurentiis, who writes stuff. That's me. Roll the theme music. <laughs> audience a little bit about who you are. And Ray, actually, why don't you tell us who you are? What, Ray, who are you? What do you do? And what's your favorite food? No, I'm kidding. Ray, how far back do you want to go? No, no. How did you and I meet? And why, why, why are okay, you here so, on Speech so today? I had been um, a writer doing a million different things for years. I started out writing our television when I was a kid. <clears throat> you know, I wrote like hospital dramas. I, I did every form of what everything. Show was that? You worked on I worked on Saint Elsewhere when I was twenty one. Oh, okay. cool. yep. wow. Yeah, wow. And, and so I did everything. Right, big I, stars on that show. Big stars. Howie Mandel. Uh, I actually oh, Denzel Washington. I actually wow. okay. See, this is where I've learned to edit myself. There you go. I didn't say I didn't tell you my oh, dad's. No, we, oh, you can uh, say names. We can say no, names. No, everyone was great on that show. Yeah, there you, everyone was great. There you go. <laughs> there, everyone was great on that show. It was it was a fun show. Right. I worked for I worked for uh, a crazy man uh, named Bruce Paltrow, okay. who made people cry. Okay, and I loved him. Okay, he made me laugh great. even when he tried to make. Now me that's me. the father. Of, of Gwyneth. Oh, and okay. I, once again, a story I can't tell. You but Gwyneth is great. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Right, great. Okay. Yeah. Gwyneth is great. Uh, no, it was a very fun job. It was it was an interesting job because I was a kid and I really had no idea what I was doing beyond instincts. How'd you get the job in the first place? Well, I, I met Bruce in New York and I was okay. a gopher on a movie he made, a PA. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, I like you, Raymond. You come out to uh, come out to Los Angeles and work on my show. Wow. So I did. It's amazing. So then yeah. I said to Bruce, quick story. I said, how do I, how can I write an episode of your show or, or try to? And he said, go home tonight with these two scenes, write them down, come back tomorrow, give them to me and see me at lunch. <laughs> So, so he talked like an anime character from Speed Racer. He did. He did. Okay, yeah, exactly. He did it. With, yeah, it was a Dragon Speed, Ball Z. Five, Dragon Ball Z. Speed. But but huge. He was like six six. Yeah. And, and and so he would make delivery boys cry. You know. He so would. He would. So so I gave him the scenes. I went to his, his office. Delivery boys would cry. Cry. Well, he would yell at them. Why would, why would yeah. cry? he would yell at them? He would yell at them. Yell at them oh, for God. parking in his space. Oh. So oh, yes. so um, but he was cool. So, so, so I went he to his, sounds awesome. he was okay. kind of cool. So I went to his office at lunch and in his office, right. And you'll like the story. Okay. It was him a mile away in this massive office. Cause he made like $70,000 a week. Why will I like this story? Because on the floor next to him was Lassie's stand in a stuffed, la a stuffed dog named oh. stay. So I'm looking, looking down the office at this guy, this towering guy who's glaring at me with a dead dog by him. And he says, uh, this scene, Raymond, I read it. It is perhaps the single worst scene I have ever read. And he threw it over my head into the hallway. And I started to laugh. And I said, well, thank you for taking the time to read it. And he said, okay, you pass the test. You're tough enough to do this. Apparently wow. the scene wasn't you know, wasn't that bad. Right, and the other right, scene right. you were really loved, but I tell that story because you're trying to inspire young people. Yeah, we are. And, I mean, and we try and do that. It's the important thing I think. We also try to inspire people who who stuff dead dogs. We yes. want to inspire. Why not? The dog was, was dead already. already. Yeah. There you go. Okay, no one killed the dog to stuff. I, I understand. Got it. So yeah, the dog so was dead so it's like you just basically you know what you want to do. You mm. don't let people discourage you. There yeah. you go. Which is the lesson. And you were 21, and a guy guy said this is the worst scene ever. You have two choices. Perhaps the worst scene. I forget. I remember every word. Yeah. So you could either you could either stand there and take offense at that mm -hmm. and say I'm never writing again and go back to wherever you're from or yeah people, that's or right just cry or just cry like the other people, like the other people. I yeah. saw him make two people cry oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's the ball now? Is it comfortable? I'm yeah. not wearing it now, but <laughs> just for the audio you listeners, great I'm not it wearing it. looked great on you. Yeah. 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 So, yeah so, so you work on so something else. I did that. Then work. I did a million yeah. things. Like, I won't even go through all the variations. It was I, like two things. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I work for every company there is, basically. McDonald's. I did everything. I did when I was a kid, oh, but, yeah. I was, yeah. but I was fired because the manager's daughter hit on me. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She was much older, and she pulled me into the freezer to kiss me. Oh, it's a really? true story. I'm okay. sorry. I, I said I wouldn't say things like it's that. Okay. You're, yeah. It's too late. It's All true right, now. It's so, so, so the truth of it is and that here she is. We brought her in. She's yeah, here, today. Come on in, Sally. What's her name? I think she's gone. Oh, she's gone. Yeah. Oh, she's gone. yeah. So she was much older. So, so, um, so, so I did everything there was to do. I did like animated, like video game characters and the animated mm -hmm. pilots, books into movies, uh, everything. Oh, mm -hmm. And then I wrote a kids and family thing. I wrote a live action pilot called. Um, Life on Earth, and I really loved writing it. Like, I had a lot of fun writing it. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's like, enjoy your job. Mm -hmm. You have to enjoy what you're doing because you're going to spend a lot of time. Absolutely. So I liked doing it more. And so I started trying to do it, but there was no real business then. I did a couple of live action things for when Nick. You, when you say business, you mean there was no There was no real business. kids business. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. The kids business at the time was commercials back for... Back in the 1930s, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah back, back, back in the late 1800s. Yeah, when, when your dentist <laughs> was still your barber. <laughs>